Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. That looks cool, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. See, DIY on the fly. Hi, I'm Julie Ireland and this is DIY on the fly. And we're standing in front of my wine closet turned crazy craft closet because you know I'm a crazy crafter. And I was cleaning it out today because of course, I like to decorate. It's spring and Easter is in the air. I found some great items to turn into a cool tablescape. Candlestick holders, jars, because my closet honestly is full of jars. Can never have too many. And of course, some spray paint. There's a few other supplies we're gonna need. Follow me, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a fabulous spring tablescape. Okay, here are the supplies that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some jars in assorted sizes and shapes. You're gonna need some cute little Easter-ish or spring figurines. You can use anything. I actually found this one around my house. This one I bought in the dollar bin. You're gonna need some spray paint. Of course, a hot glue gun, girl's best friend. And I'm gonna actually make a little flower arrangement in the center to using faux flowers. So you're gonna need to pick some of those up that you like. All of my supplies I bought at Michael's Craft Store. And then I also found this that I love at Michael's Craft Store. And it's like a faux um, grass or moss table runner. So we're gonna use this in the center of the table. And you're gonna need some candy to fill your jars because every girl, need some candy. Anyway, let's go outside and let's get started with spray painting our candlestick holders and our jar lids. Come with me. <sighs> okay, now that everything is spray painted, I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. So the first step is we want to take our lids, both parts, and we want to actually glue those together. So I'm going to turn um, the top of this lid here upside down, and I'm going to take my hot glue gun, again, a girl's best friend, and I'm going to put a nice bead of glue inside. And then I'm going to take the top. I'm just going to set it inside because we want to make sure that those stick together because we're gonna be putting our little spray painted little cutie pies on top. So I'm gonna let that, turn that over, let that dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna continue and do that with the other two lids. Okay, so now that these are all glued together, we're gonna put our really super adorable little figurines on top of them, again, using our hot glue gun. So the largest lid, I'm gonna put this bunny. So you wanna put a nice thick layer of glue. And then we're just gonna put this right in the center of our lid. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Now, a little birdie told me that it wants to be on top of a jar. So we are going to glue that to the last lid. Again, right in the center. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's adorable. Okay, so the next step is we wanna glue our candlestick holders on to our jars. So again, super easy. What will we do without a glue gun? I don't know. I think I say that like all the time. That's like my little catchphrase. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of glue on there and I'm gonna place the jar just center. So there we go. How cute. Now, what we're gonna do 
is the best part, the part that I've been waiting for and I'm sure you've been waiting for too. We're gonna fill it with candy, yay! So adorable. And look how cute these little um, gumballs are that I found at Target. I absolutely love them. They're like pearlized little gumballs. So I'm gonna put a few gumballs in the bottom of the big one because they look so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill it with this cotton candy because who doesn't love cotton candy? And I'm gonna recommend that you eat a little along the way because we all need cotton candy, like I say, in our life. So, but I'm not gonna put the already been chewed cotton candy in there. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Oh my goodness, I love all the colors. It's so springy. And I am gonna put in this one, my favorite jelly beans. Yum, yum, yum. So when you're doing this, you really wanna think about candy that you love because chances are you're probably gonna be dipping into these jars. So I happen to love jelly beans and oh my gosh, look how cute that looks. This is great like for a party, it makes a great gift. So the last step, although I have cotton candy stuck to my fingers, is to just put our lids on. It's that simple. Look at this, oh my goodness. So cute and so simple. Anybody can do this. And again, you can just use things that you find around your house. This was a little tchotchke I just had laying around and I just painted it. Wow. Okay, so this jar I've specified to put some silk flowers in and I'm using silk flowers because that way I don't have to worry about watering them and they're gonna look beautiful all day long, every day. So what I'm also gonna do is rather than cutting these stems, I'm just gonna kind of fold them because that way I can reuse them again in a taller vase if I want to. So I really love these that I found at Michael's. I think they're so fun and springy. And actually, you know what? It might be cute to like put some candy in this jar too. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take some of these jelly beans, just put them in for decoration. Why not? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. See, DIY on the fly. I'm gonna put some of these in there. So cute, just kind of tying all the colors together. And then when you're done eating your gumballs out of that jar, you can just go to the flower jar. I mean, how brilliant is that, right? So I'm gonna put one of these guys in. I love Jaria daisies. How cute is that? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the candy and everything off the table and we're gonna actually set the entire tablescape in just a couple minutes. That looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, that's the final touch for my spring tablescape. I hope you love what you've learned today. I can't wait to see your creations also. Remember to like, share, and follow, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And I'll see you next time on DIY on the Fly. Thanks for watching, bye.